Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday and it's quite late in the day now. It's early evening, quarter to six. And I'm just gonna go for a, a little poodle about. It's been another weekend of uh, not much time. So, haven't had any time to do anything, but I've just got a window now, so I thought I'd go for a quick ride out. And I think I'm going to head over to the Foss, the Foss Way and head over. I know it's getting late, but I'll just head down towards the Cotswolds and just see what I come across down there. Probably, it's quarter to six now. I'll probably go out to about eight or nine. So let's go and have a look and see what we can find today. Let's get out the city first. Nothing worse than being in the city. They've got new speed cameras along here now. 30, average. I haven't uploaded many videos over the last few weeks because again it was just because of time. It's the summer holidays, the kids are off school. And obviously I have to do things with them as well. Until they're old enough to get their own bikes and come with me. <laughs> Good evening for this. Yeah, I think we'll head over to Stratford Way and then cut across to the Foss from Wellsbourne, somehow. So we'll head down the A40, A46 to get there. Coventry Cathedral, the Elephant Building. So I haven't uploaded any videos for a few weeks, as you probably noticed. Like I said, it's been really busy. Um, hope you lot have managed to get out and have a few rides around. If you've been to anywhere exciting, let us know in the comments below. Um, any ideas where you think I should go for a ride next? I have been to the Lake District uh, last week, but I went in the motorhome with the kids and the missus. Uh, while I was there, something really bad happened. This guy, I witnessed a guy fall off his bike on Hard Knock Pass. So I had to stay with him, look after him. Put a long story short, it took an hour and a half for the uh, ambulance to arrive. And uh, eventually got airlifted out. And he's uh, done some damage to himself, quite a bit actually. Um, but thankfully he's alive. The bike was hardly damaged at all. But he had uh, some neck damage, back damage and uh, serious leg and hip damage. I spoke to him on the WhatsApp since then and uh, he's doing all right. I was really getting into my bike riding this year. I've like, uh, been to Wales and you know, all these places and then the summer holidays came. So I had to, I obviously I've got to spend time with the kids. Ah, oh, this is a perfect evening, 22 degrees. No rain forecast as yet. This is lovely. Perfect way to end the weekend. Yeah, I had a few emails asking me if I was alright because I hadn't uploaded for a while, so I thought I'd better stick a little video on. Where are you all from, viewers? Whereabouts in the world? Let us know in the comments below. Any local? I know we've got one or two viewers from Coventry that follow me. Next weekend I'm going to Wales, bank holiday weekend, but not on the bike again. I've got to take the kids down to see their granddad. So it's another biking weekend gone. But then the week after that, guys, yes, they are back at school. So I will be out on this bike. Wow, 141.9. That is terrible. It's a little evening ride, sometimes they can be the best ones. Because when you're going on one of those big day tour ones, you've got a lot to think about where you're going, what time you're going to get there. If you're staying away the night, you're going to be thinking, oh, I've got to get there for this, that and the other. And you want to stop and take pictures or see the sights that you're passing. But on these little evening rides, just going out, exploring, looking around the area. I just turned down little roads I've never been down. I love doing that. Just, just exploring, 
going on a little adventure. Where are we now? Well, I don't want to go to Stratford. I'd rather head down towards Wellspawn if I can. And then we'll cut across to the foss from there. I think it's this turning, isn't it? Yeah. Go down here. There's a couple of things I love when I'm on my rides, and that is hills, mountains, so mountains and hills, same thing, and rivers. If I see a river and there's somewhere to park, I usually stop. If it's a good river. Used to love coming to Stratford when we were kids. My dad would bring us down. Um, and we'd rent those little motor boats. And we'd take a picnic, head up the river, pull up on the riverbank somewhere and have a picnic. I used to love that. So here we are, this is Stratford. Look, we're, look there's the main town. And now we're just about to go across the Avon. Let's have a look. Look at this. Beautiful. Here you go, look, this is where you get the boats down there. Look how pretty that is. Very nice. Okay, so we are heading Shipston Broadway. So we're going to head down there. A3400. Once you're in Shipston and Broadway, then you are in the Cotswolds. The sun is a little bit more to my right now, so shouldn't be so blinding. I filled up the tank, 356 is saying. That's not bad, is it? For a bike. 356 miles. It's gone up, 357. <laughs> Fantastic. Shipston, nine miles. Oxford, 39. We won't get that far though. If you want to go somewhere like Borton on the water or anywhere like that from Stratford, then this is the road you would come on. We'll just head along here for a few miles and then we'll take a left and head over that way and just do like a loop. And get off these main roads and start hitting some of those little country lanes. We'll have to watch out for the horsey people. So we'll go right here. You can get down to Oxford and ships on Stowers just along there. We're going to go along here towards Stowe and Morton in the Marsh. Morton in the Marsh is eight miles. We'll head to there first. We are now officially in the Cotswolds. It's quite a many place, I think. Got Ask all sorts of nice places to go and eat. There's some bikers there, look. Well, there's a lot of bikers, like I told you. That's where they all come out now. lovely town. Let's have a quick look on the map, see where we are. So with the uh, dial, you can control this or this. So if you just press and hold the menu button up and hold it, it takes you, so it says nav. Now we can control the nav, so let's zoom out and see where we are. Still on the foss. I think we'll head towards... We could head towards Borton on the water. Go past there, maybe. Cheltenham is 22 miles. Yeah, so I can see Chipping Norton on the map and those places, so we'll probably end up heading over towards there. We'll go down a bit and then we'll do a loop and come back around and head up towards Chipping Norton, then Banbury. Okay, so what I've done, I've set the I've set the sat nav to Borton on the water now, the uh, BMW connected that one. I know the turning's just down here. I'll set it anyway. So I can see how far it is. Obviously it's, it's going to be an evening ride tonight so I don't want to be going too far in the dark. And the light is fading now as the sun goes down. Oh that's nice, look at that. Beautiful. So left here for Chipping Norton. We're going to go on a little bit further though. We will end up probably at Chipping Norton in a bit. Oh, that looks nice. A lot of you will be saying, oh, why is that on? Why has he got this? 
when he's got this as well but BMW give you the app the TFT screen and that's included on the bike now I'd, when I'm on long uh, long journeys I'm going on a, a bike tour um, and I'm not really planning where I'm going I do like to have that just so I can have a look at the route as I'm going along and maybe look see what towns are nearby and stuff and then I'll just follow this one for my main route that, I'm, that I set in the morning but then I might use that just to have a little gander and see what's about the area so it is handy I've never come into Borton on the water this way before in through the industrial estate I didn't even know it had one so I think we're now coming into Borton on the water Look at these houses, absolutely stunning. I've never come into Borton on the water down this way before. So we're literally gonna come right out in the middle of uh, the town now, look, and you'll see what I mean, how lovely it is. Here we are, beautiful. Not a bad looking place, is it? Nice evening, look, sitting on the grass. Having a picnic. Nice river going through the middle there. It's a lovely place. So, I'm going to turn around and go back over that bridge and annoy all the people sitting there. <laughs> and this time I'll look down the other way so you can see the river going the other way. It's really lovely here. I mean, look at this village. Look, look at this. Absolutely stunning. I think you'll agree. Very nice. Nice of her. Oh, there's a model village here as well. If you ever come here for the day, you can go in there and have a wander around the model village. And then obviously the river goes all the way through like this. And you can walk all the way along here. And there's a bird land place here, look. The last time, if you watched one of my videos before, I did pass through it once, but it was absolutely hammering it down. There's a maze here as well, so you can get lost with it. Well, send the kids in there, and the missus, let them get lost for a while, and then uh, you go off and enjoy yourself for a bit while they try and find the way out. Perfect. Okay. So, I don't want to carry on down here, because I wanted to go out of Borton on the water the other way. Just wanted to have a look down to see what was happening down these ends. Let's head back through Bolton on the water. We'll take a right turn when we get in there. Look at the kids in the water, look. Awesome. It smells gorgeous as well. Mm. It's these Indian takeaways everywhere. Okay. So that's Bolton on the water. If you come on a busy day, these fields here are full of cars, they have overflow car park. It's a really nice place, I definitely recommend coming here. In fact, this whole area, get yourselves down because it is well worth it. Okay. head down that way and then do a left somewhere along here and start heading across the countryside this is another fab place look hmm it's 
smells good again. Lovely place. So we've arrived at the A44. But we're going to just turn right and then we're going to go immediately left towards the roll rights. And there is actually a stone circle there, so I might actually pop in there quickly. Welcome to Oxfordshire. Yeah, I want to try, if I can go past the roll right stones, that'd be good. I haven't seen them for a long time. England. Oh, is this the roll right stones? Here you go. I'll show you the roll right, roll right stones while we're here. The ceremonial stone circle probably dates to C 2500 B. Let's go and have a look. Mustn't forget to take my phone. So guys, you've heard of Stonehenge. But have you heard of the Rollwright Stones? Here you go. There you go, look at that. What did they do here? Some sort of ritual. So this circle we've just looked at is the King's Men Stone Circle. So here we are, let's tell us what it is. The King's Men are a ceremonial stone circle probably dating from the late Neolithic period, C 2500 BC. Stunning views. Uh -oh. You right? The Royal Right Trust Kingstone. So there must be another one in here. Yeah. That must be the Kingstone over there. The Kingstone is a large standing stone probably erected to mark a Bronze Age cemetery dating to about 1800 to 1500 BC. Yeah. It was a good place to have a chamber or it was a good place to put it, wasn't it? With this view. Let's have a look. What a lovely place to sit and watch the sun go down. Beautiful. Just a few people here, look, just a couple of people. Bike is looking good. Still really warm, 19 degrees and 7.34 at night. Great evening for a ride out. I'm so glad I made this decision to come out tonight. Another fantastic view. Fair right. So great roll right. Oh, so you've got little roll right behind us, then great roll right just along here. Could I? Wanted to do a bit of drone flying today. Sunset is happening right now behind us and it looks stunning. Just wanted to get a picture. There's a deer over there, look. There it goes, in the bush. I don't know if you saw the deer on the camera. There he is again, another one. Oh, there's two. I hope you can see them. Wow. They don't need to be scared of my GSA. This is what I love about evening rides as well, the nature that you see. Everything seems to come out a bit more at night. Hmm. I hope you can hope the camera picked them up.
queue around for more deer because these roads these roads are very rural. So this is Hook Norton, which has actually got its own brewery as well. I'm not sure if this is Hook Norton, but I think it is. Fair left. Still look at this. Fantastic. This is what I mean by exploring. I love this. Just getting lost. What you'll notice in England, guys, is that there's no one about. It's 7.50, look. Still light. It's very warm. But there's no one. No one out. Okay. Okay. There is a pub somewhere along here. There might be some people there. Maybe that's where everyone is at the pub. Look at this, look. Thatched. Thatched roof. You don't get them in every country. Oh, some people about. I did uh, quieten the engine down there, there's a baby in there. Look at these houses. Oh, that is pretty gorgeous, that one. So we are riding out of Hook Norton, and the next stop will be heading over towards Banbury, and Bloxham, I suppose. Ah, uh, summer evening rides. This is the life ready for work tomorrow morning because it is Sunday night so back to the A361 this is Bloxham another absolute stunner we're sort of on the edge of the Cotswold now we're about to head back into well, we'll be getting to Warwickshire eventually, from the past Banbury. Hey guys, so I decided to pull over here for a quick coffee um, before heading back up towards Coventry. Uh, as usual, the GoPro audio failed me when I switched it back on again. Um, obviously I didn't realise till I got back to Coventry, so from here on it was uh, completely silent. The mic played up, so I'll just uh, show you a few clips from on the way home um, and I'll see you at the end. This was probably the most interesting thing I saw on the way back actually, it's Banbury Cross. You might have heard the old uh, nursery rhyme, ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross, well this is Banbury Cross. And then from here on it was uh, mostly motorway.
country. Feeling refreshed, ready for work tomorrow morning. There was a little bit of a delay on the way back. Uh, the A46 was closed, so I had to take a long way around, so I got back a little later than I thought. But we're back in one piece, which is the main thing, and we had a great ride. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and if you haven't liked the video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, guys, safe riding, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.